Hey viewers, my name's Kara. I'm your host for Tuesdays on the Pagan Perspective, and this week we're talking about our ancestors and viewing them as sort of like god forms. This is really similar to a topic that we had months past uh, that the subs covered on Subs Week about mortals becoming deities. So if you want to check out their videos, this is sort of related to that. But this question comes from Red Dragon, and it's just a little bit more specified to ancestors and whether we can consider our ancestors as being like deities if they were, you know, especially special in some way. Sort of like how various cultures um, have stories about mortals being considered deities after their death, such as the deification of people in uh, Catholicism or the story of Hercules. The questioner gives a few examples uh, in his text, which will be in the description, of course. But uh, the specific question being, so along those same veins, would it be appropriate in ancestor veneration to consider some of your ancestors who were especially humble or exceedingly kind or, you know, had something incredibly special about them during their lifetime, would it be appropriate to consider them like deities after they've passed and to consider them that in your working? Or would it be inappropriate because we don't definitively know um, what state their spirit is in? So you can probably predict, I feel like you guys are just like, oh, we know what Kara's going to say all the time because I always say it depends and that is up to you. And that's kind of my answer again because I really, but really though, in this case, I think that something like considering someone or something a deity or not a deity or like along the same level as far as like how you work with them, what you consider them to be in your mind and in spirit and the way that you work with them is really about how you see it. Like, for me, I don't think it would be incredibly important to consider my ancestors having become deities after their earthly life cycle has ended because I work with so many different concepts and levels of things anyway, and I, I mean, I don't consider my ancestors to be the same as the deity forms that I worship, but because I don't worship my ancestors, but I work with them in the same way. I call upon their energy and their guidance in the same way. Um, so to me, there's not a huge difference in the way that I think of them, other than that I don't think of them as deities. I don't consider them the same exact thing. To me, they're different because, of course, I know that my ancestors actually did live, so I view them more literally than I do deity. I view deity largely as symbolic, so that makes it a big difference for me. But as far as, like, yeah, like, who becomes a saint afterward, like, who gets canonized and things like that, it's a decision that a body of people have made after that person's life has ended. And, like, in the case of Caesar, it was something that, like, everyone got together and, like, a ceremony took place where they said, okay, now he is considered this. And so some of it, I think, has to do with um, popular opinion and popular consent and everyone saying, okay, yes, we agree that this is happening. Or maybe it's not the popular opinion, but it has to do with someone in charge saying, we are now considering this person to be like a deity or whatever. So in the absence of that, because this is your own family that you're talking about, this is your own personal path, I don't see why you couldn't choose to do the same thing. And if you consider one of your ancestors to be that height of a stature in spirit, I suppose, I don't see why you couldn't have a little ritual to honor them and to say that, you know, I am now considering you to be this higher level of thing. Now, I could just imagine some people after doing that going around and telling people, oh, my great-grandfather was a god, and that's not exactly the same thing, you know what I mean? But again, the way that I view deity is largely symbolic, and it's all about, like, you know, what we believe in and what we put stock in. And it's much the same way with living people, too, like celebrities and whatnot. Like, they are celebrities because they are celebrated by other people. They're not celebrities like, by themselves, you know, like, if they didn't have that sort of following and if they weren't in the public eye or whatever the case may be, you see the point that I'm making. 
Um, so if your ancestors are that kind of importance and that kind of level to you, then I don't see why you couldn't think of them that way. It's up to you though, I don't know. I can't tell you whether or not it's appropriate. I don't think I would do it personally, but that's just because of the way that my path is. I don't feel the need to do that. Also, I don't know anything very specifically about my ancestors that would make me think that they were worthy of something like that. I don't know a lot about my specific ancestors, but also something else that would keep me from really wanting to do that. I kind of touched on this when I said like that I know my ancestors really did exist, so I view them more literally than I think of deity concepts and archetypes that are largely symbolic for me, is that my ancestors were people, and people are human, and humans are flawed. And so I would always have in the back of my mind that even if I only know the really good things about people, there were bad qualities too, because there's good and bad in everyone, and there's... I think I would have a hard time coming up with anyone who was, you know, so close to perfect. I think if I knew more about my ancestors, I would certainly view a lot of them probably as teachers and really great people to look up to, but I don't know if I would ever consider any one of them on level with deities that I worship. But I did some Googling about this just to see like what other opinions are, and there was a Yahoo question where someone was asking, how do mortals become deities? And one of the people who answered said something like, you know, like in the canonization or the deification or whatever of various different cultures, it usually revolves around a group of people deciding that someone was worthy of this honor and then just kind of formally stating, okay, they are now considered this. And I think that makes sense. So if that's something that you want to do personally, I don't see why you couldn't. Those are just my rambly thoughts on the subject. Thank you for listening. I'm actually at my grandma's house right now, hanging out with her. She doesn't feel so well today, so I'm over here, made her some dinner, just kind of spending time with her, so I'm going to go back and do that. Um, feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments. Let the questioner know what your thoughts are on this subject. I clearly don't have any very clear thoughts on this, or maybe you got something clear out of that, but those are my feelings and my thoughts about how it applies to me. But as always, that's just me, and I'm not you, so... Until next time, don't forget to be awesome, blessed be, and goodbye. Thanks for watching.